Hey everybody, Ronaldo Offerman here with Airstream Video Manuals. Today I'm going to talk about advanced patching. Now you'll notice that this screen looks a little bit different than the last video, and that is because I was able to customize a few extra things on here. You'll see that each individual patch or individual light has its own icon, and if I actually go back to the main screen, they even have custom names. So how does that work? Well, we're going to go, go, going to go back to our patch screen. And uh, let's do number eight, which is the Wi-Fi EXR dots patch nine channel. And all I got to do is click on button image, select the icon that best represents the light. We're going to go back to the profiler. And now we're going to call this side fill two. And we're just going to go back to the patch. And you'll see right there, whoops, that I spell side wrong. So I can fix that real quick. But you'll see that it pretty much saved it automatically. Now, if you are patching the same light multiple times and you don't want to have to do this like I'm doing, the easiest way is to load something up. So, uh, or load it up and uh, edit, then load up the rest. So let's say, for example, on number 11. Okay, we're going to go ahead and patch. Let's say that we have the NO color beam, LED. All right. And we're just going to go ahead and patch one of them. I'm going to go back here. And we are going to call this stage movers. And for our image, we are going to use this moving head here. Go back to profile. We're going to rename this. Right here, this file name at the top, that is a custom fixture profile. So I'm just going to go ahead and name it with my initials. And it's been saved. Great. Now you'll see right there, in a color beam LED. Now we're going to go to 12 and custom profiles in a color beam LED and we've got three more we want to patch and there it is right there in a color beam LED and they've all been automatically named stage movers easy now what happens if you have a light that you want to patch so here we go we're gonna go to 15 patch and oh no the scanner that I want isn't on there right and you'll see there's actually quite a bit. There's some generic channels, there's stuff for relation, and obviously lots of the ADJ stuff. And with more and more updates, you're going to be able to load more uh, profiles. You can even share profiles with friends, and I'm going to do a video on that as well. But we're just going to go back here towards the patch options, so click on the I. We're going to call this, the profile file name is this going to be AO Scanner. Uh, let's just call it 2015. And we're going to choose a scanner there. And this is going to be called the AO CAT scan. Get it? Not CAT scan. Clever. Now, before we choose, you know, anything else, we're going to do, and uh, before, you know, we customize anything else as far as patch the actual fixture itself, we got to choose a number of channels. So we're going to do six channels. And now we're going to go into our channel configuration. Now, here's where it gets interesting. This, the program automatically detects keywords such as pan, tilt, red, green, blue, color, gobo, and so forth. And the reason that it does that is because when I do pan and tilt, I don't have to tell it it's a pan fader for pan and tilt. It's automatically going to know that based on the name. So make sure you capitalize. So we're going to do pan, done. It's automatically going to detect that it's a pan fader. Then we're going to do tilt. Remember that if you have any fine channels, such as pan and tilt fine, you need to specify that. If you have a fixture with multiple color so for example let's say you have a quad scan or the event bar q4 you'll have multiple reds so you'll do red space one red space two and so forth so now we have our color now the color wheel and this one won't matter what you name it because there's not an area where you can specify colors and all that that you'll just do manually as you program we've got gobo we've got shutter and we have dimmer now the next option here you'll see where it says fade mode that is actually giving you an option of how the faders will react when it goes from one scene into another and that's something I'm going to cover in a later video and then of course invert which inverts that fader we're gonna leave them like it is and we're gonna save yay I now have the AO scanner 2015 but I need to patch three more of them so we're gonna go to AO scanner patch three and we're done now, if I go back to my fixtures, we have right, so you'll see right here the, let me actually turn this sideways. There we go. So we have the inner pocket spots, or the inner pocket Z4s, excuse me. We have our inner roll HP, which I named it roll behind band. 
We have our side fill, front of house, our second side fill. We've got a dots bar that we still haven't named. We've got our fog fury, stage movers, and our CAT scans. Now, the options here, of course, you can see we can map or patch 24 lights. So it's one of those that you really want to think ahead as you're programming as far as, okay, if you're doing, let's say, a band and you're going to have two or three side fills, you may want to keep those on the same DMX channel. You know, again, as you really program and really break it down, real, you know, try to map it what's going to be the easiest way to organize things. But they've done a really good job of making this easy to be able to identify what light is what. And, of course, you can grab. Keep in mind that this program supports multi-touch, so I can actually grab two fixtures at a time. I can do, let's see if I can do three. Yep. I can do three, so multi-touch is fully supported on here. And of course, this works for any iOS device. It is a universal app. So that's it, a little bit on advanced patching. And now later on, we're, later on, I'm gonna talk about channels, effects, and I just wanted to point out that as I grab the scanners that I made, if I go into my channels, and we're just gonna scroll here to pan and tilt, it would actually grab the scanners and start moving them right away. Now this is really cool, especially if you wanna do a follow spot. But that's for later on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any comments, questions, requests, please leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe. And remember that while I do this out of the goodness of my heart, watch the ads. Uh, but yeah, watch the ads and share with your friends, etc. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good night and God bless.